One of the best ways to get people to notice your podcast in Apple Podcasts and Spotify is to have eye-catching podcast artwork. Today, I'm going to show you three different tools for generating podcast artwork for your podcast. You won't need any design or artistic experience. Most of these tools are free or have a free tier. So let's get into it. So the first tool I'm going to show you is Canva, canva.com. They do have a free tier. What I love about Canva is you can just type in podcast and it will automatically give you some suggestions and templates for podcast cover art. You have a bunch of options here that we could use. Uh, in this case, let's say we've got a show about a grizzly bear that travels the world. And so I've got this you know, templates set up here, but if I wanted to add other artwork, for example, a grizzly bear, I can go into this elements section here and type in grizzly. And now I've got some graphics I can use. One thing I like about Canva is it's really intuitive. So it's just, you grab pieces and drag them around. It'll automatically space it for you. Grizzly bear travels. And let's say down here, we want to put our name and you'll notice it'll automatically align our text and everything as well. So there's our finished podcast cover art and I can export that by going up to share, clicking the download button and we're going to want to save it as a JPEG. Uh, podcast apps like Apple and Spotify don't like it if your image is too big, uh, but it can be up to 3000 by 3000 pixels. So we're going to save it as a JPEG. And now I could take that image and add it to my podcast hosting platform. In this case, it's Transistor. It'll update my RSS feed, and now that podcast cover art will appear in all the different directories like Apple and Spotify when I submit it. All right, so that's the first tool, canva.com. The second tool is Bing's Image Creator. So if you go to bing.com slash create, they have this tool that allows you to create images from words with AI, with artificial intelligence. So in this case, I have a grizzly bear wearing a Hawaiian shirt and playing a ukulele. And I'm going to have it generate that image. It takes a little while and it's going to generate four images. Uh, as far as I understand, you can use images generated from this tool as long as they are for non-commercial use. So if your podcast has sponsors or is monetized, you probably can't use these. If it's just a podcast for a hobby, you're free to use these. And look at this image right here. This is perfect. And what I would actually do is I would download it and then I would pull that image into Canva. So I'm going to add another page here and I'm going to drag this image of the bear in. And Canva has a great utility for removing background colors and making it transparent so I can use that tool here and look at that. Now I've got a transparent background. This is just an awesome image. It would cost a lot of money to have an artist create this. And we can just head down here and just use that same text if we'd like, resize the image. I could experiment with different typefaces, see if there's something that might stand out a little bit better. I can add uh, effects like uh, neon or echo or outline. So there we go. There's our second bit of artwork. The third tool I'm going to recommend is another AI tool called playgroundai.com. And you know what? I might just actually grab this same prompt and I'm going to put that into playground AI down in the prompt section. You can choose different models. There's different AI models, Stable Diffusion, Dolly. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use Stable Diffusion 1.5. The cool thing about Playground.ai is it lets you choose a lot of these different styles here. So they have all sorts of really cool styles. Let's use Dream Shaper and click Generate. And now we're getting some, some images here. And we can keep choosing different uh, what they call filters, and just try the prompt out in different ways. I found that I get better versions using Bing's Image Creator, but some of these are not too bad. I also like that you can choose the style and 
uh, you know, try out like cartoon styles and all sorts of different things here. So again, once I find an image that I like, I can download it and I would bring that into Canva as well. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag and drop and I'm going to use that background remover tool to give us a nice transparent background. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download all three of these. And there's a cool tool on the Transistor website that allows you to upload your cover art and then see what it might look like compared to other shows in Apple Podcasts that have the same subject matter. So we're going to call this Grizzly Travels. And I'm going to upload that first bit of artwork that I created. Click Preview. And then it pulls in some of the top rated travel shows from Apple Podcasts. And then we can look at how our artwork compares to everything else here. So if you were presented with these options, which one would you click? It's a nice way to see if your artwork pops compared to the competition. And I can keep uploading variations until I find one that I think really works well compared to the other options. So here's Grizzly Travels. Uh, one thing is that I can, the typeface I notice when it's small isn't as readable, so maybe I want to change that. Sometimes I'll even take a screenshot and then post it to social media asking people if they think it pops enough compared to the other artwork in my category. And again, once you've got a winner, you can upload it to your podcast hosting provider can also replace your existing artwork. When you're new, it's the perfect time to experiment with different types of podcast cover art. So if one cover doesn't seem to be getting you traction, maybe try something else and see if people start clicking and trying it out more often. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. If you want more tutorials like this, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. If you wanna try out Transistor podcast hosting for your podcast, go over to transistor.fm and click on that 14-day free trial button.